Welcome to Bloodbath and Beyond. Today we review Hatchet, old school American horror. Written and directed by Adam Green, starring Kane Hodder, Tamara Feldman, and Joel David Moore. This film is about a group of tourists who decide to go on a tour in the swamps. Unfortunately, the swamps are the home of an urban legend, Victor Crowley, a disfigured boy who was in a burning house and as his father tried to save him by cutting down the door with a hatchet, ended up killing his son by sticking the hatchet into his face. Now Victor Crowley is killing everybody who enters the swamps. So what do we like? Hatchet is one of those movies that's made for horror fans. Kane Hodder plays Victor Crowley. Victor Crowley is just this hulking, mutated man and he just looks ridiculous, but awesome. And he quickly became a modern slash icon. All of the kills in this film are bananas. They're honestly so crazy and they have some of the best special effects that you're gonna see in horror. These were all done by Robert Pendergraft and his team and they're stunning. Victor Crowley just doesn't use a hatchet in this movie to kill his victims. He just has everything from grinders to just using his own brute strength to rip people apart. Like it's nice because we get it, some slashers, they just use one weapon and that's it. But to provide a variety, it just makes it more creative and more fun to see on screen. I really enjoyed all the characters in this film. Every single person played a great part. Personal favorite of mine has to go to Marcus. I thought his character was the most entertaining because he just didn't want to be there and he was the comic relief. And I thought his character was really enjoyable. Everybody has their own stereotypes and it's great. You have the old couple who's kind of oblivious to what's happening, but they're seated beside like this scummy slime ball of a dude who's shooting a Girls Gone Wild Bayou Beavers tape. And of course we have Mary Beth, our main like protagonist with like the shy, weird male protagonist. Mary Beth is the fucking strong one in the bunch. And then we have a face that you will all be familiar with by the time you're done watching this series. And that's Perry Shen who plays the tour guide in this. The spirits of the damned are on the rise. Let's get our souls on the move, my friends. Because this movie was built from the ground up to cater to slasher fans, of course we already know that Kane Hodder, Jason Voorhees himself, plays Victor Crowley. But we also have Candyman because Tony Todd plays Reverend Zombie, a voodoo guy <laughs> who sells these weird tours. And in the beginning, we actually have Mary Beth's dad, Freddy Krueger, Robert Englund. Adam Green nailed this movie with the aesthetics. Everything in this looked beautiful. It felt like you were in the swamp. He had amazing cinematography, but his lighting is what brought this home. He just knew exactly how to light each scene to create this atmosphere, and it was gorgeous. Yeah, the cinematography was especially beautiful. Uh, this is Will Barrett. This is his right-hand man when it comes to almost every film, I think, if not all of his films. And not only does he frame all his shots extremely well, he also does some fancy camera work when it comes to moving from conversation to conversation. It's just an interesting way to get everybody's point across in a small amount of time without doing too many jump cut conversations. They're not afraid to have long takes on the screen. In this one, we have four of our characters in a standoff with a bush that's shaking, and it's on there for a couple of minutes. And you're building tension, and you're just anticipating what's gonna come out of the bush. Regardless of what it is, they knew exactly what they were doing by keeping it on the screen. It didn't cut to any reaction shots, it didn't cut to the bush, it was just us watching them looking in this bush, and I thought it was great. Now we're gonna jump into spoiler territory for just a second as we do our favorite kills. My favorite kill in this film is probably my favorite kill in the entire series, and that's Shannon's death. This is the big reveal of Victor Crowley. He runs over, starts hacking up Jim, just getting him in the shoulder, and he just keeps hacking and hacking him, and you're just like, oh man, poor guy. Well, it doesn't end there, because right after that, Victor runs over to Shannon and in one fell swoop grabs her by the back of the head as the camera flips around the two of them. He grabs her mouth and just basically rips her head in half. Super cinematic and gory. Gotta love it. My favorite kill is Sean's death. This is where the confrontation is beginning and they're starting to fight back against Victor Crowley. Victor's got the shovel 
and he just takes a swing at Sean, taking out a part of his leg. And then he just gets on top of him and just destroys him with the shovel. Now, what didn't we like? My biggest complaint about this film is well, it's a satire, I think that some of the jokes just didn't land as hard as they should have. There is a pretty significant buildup. There's probably like a 30 to 40 minute buildup before we get like any action. And the jokes aren't that good. I mean, some of them are, but they try so damn hard. No yeah, thanks, I like my tongue without the syphilis. Like you're never gonna be laughing out loud at anything that the characters are saying, but you might just have like a little chuckle to yourself. I think it should have been a little bit funnier. I felt that Victor Crowley's screen time wasn't enough. And when he was on screen, he was just moving too fast to really like take it all in. Cause you want to see like that sweet makeup. You want to see how cool he looks, but he's just like moving around so fast that it's hard to like really capture the moment. Well, it's not a dislike of mine. It is worth noting that Hatchet was originally designed to be a trilogy. So each of the movies in the series end abruptly, and this movie is no exclusion to that, because if you watch this as a standalone and the second one wasn't out already, you'd probably be so pissed at the ending, because it just ends. And it's a super big cliffhanger, but if you guys like the first one, then you're gonna jump right into the second one, and it starts right from the end of the first film. Now it's time for our final thoughts and ratings. Hatchet is a really fun movie. If you're a fan of slashers, then you're going to like this because it takes out all of the useless story that you'd usually like to see in other movies. You have this big beast of a man just kicking the shit out of everybody and killing them all. However, being that it was a satire, I didn't think it was quite as funny as it thought it was and it wasn't the smart horror that I think it wanted to be, but it's a great film. So I'm gonna give this four smooth pickup lines out of five. Mary Beth, that's a great name. Cause it's actually two names, you know? Most people just have one and that's kind of boring. <laughs> Hatchet is pretty much everything that you're looking for in a horror movie. It's got great kills, it looks nice, it has an awesome killer and enjoyable characters. Plus the story is not too complex that you could just really sit there and just take it all in. You definitely don't want to watch this as just a standalone because the ending just leaves it as a cliffhanger so you have to watch the rest of them because watching it by itself, you're going to be left very unsatisfied. So with that being said, I'm going to give this five smoother pickup lines out of five. No, you... <laughs> we are so cute when we do that. <laughs> I'm Marcus. Jenna. As always, thank you for watching. Like this video and comment below with your thoughts on the film, if you've seen it, if you haven't. There are links in the description where you can find it. And if this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay updated with everything Bloodbath and beyond.